Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> this is Castantino, and I bet you some of you pro probably did see this coming. So today we are going to be discussing the last entry of the Zack Snyder DC verse, Justice League. I have my notes. I have seen the movie, and I'll leave that for my final thoughts. So, basically, this is based after the events of Batman vs. Superman, where Batman basically um, only stops trying to kill Superman after Lois Lane scream, tells him that Martha and Batman have a shared thing with the, their mom's being named the same thing, in which case fan fictions probably went nuts at the fact that, at, you know, Batman and Superman had something in common. Yeah. So, some interesting things happened in this movie. You could definitely tell the tone shift. A little bit about this movie before I do get into this is um, for those who may not know, this movie started off being directed by Zack Snyder. Um, I want to say about halfway to near the end of production, he um, had to leave it because of an unfortunate death in his fa family, specifically his daughter, which will be the last thing I say about that uh, because that she has nothing to do with this film but I just want to get that one out. In came Josh Wedden I believe, yeah, to finish up. There were reshoots. The infamous this Superman upper lip thing. Wow. Basically, this movie made, a, I would say it made a good, in, back in the day, this movie would have made a lot, been considered a outlandish success. But because of today's media and idiots and studios need to have behind the scenes drama, numerous egos flying off the handle on their directors on up, not just the, the uh, actors, but it's basically went from being, mm, let's be modest here, a two hundred million dollar movie to being probably after having their after reshoots because the only P WB realized the Snyder thing wasn't exactly eh, to everything else. Yeah, I would not be surprised if the movie costs somewhere along the lines of four hundred million, which would put it. I remember right, it made eight hundred something, which would put it. Yeah, it didn't make much of anything. But let us begin. So the movie opens up with with us seeing a bunch of kids taking an Instagram with Superman doing a little thing nothing to do with the movie so that was easy we are then put through a montage that wants to jam it into your goddamn brain that yes Superman is dead no he's really dead he's not being brought back he's dead he's dead dead He's deader than dead dead. Meanwhile, there's a song going in, in the background, repeating once again, he's dead, and everybody knows. Everybody knows. Everybody. Jesus Christ, the music they picked for this fucking movie. Anyway. So, after that horrible B.O.F.P.O.S. Um, 
Oh yes, and Batman. So we go after the credits, which everybody knows. We go to Gotham. The bird, somebody burgles the um something, and Batman stops him, hangs him over a le ledge of the building in order to catch a paratrooper because paratroopers are apparently being seen all over the planet trying to find these mother boxes which I will get to later oh boy because you never hear, hear the end of that so anyway these mother boxes so Batman fights this thing catches it like a fish and then like in the dumbest thing possible um then you got the, the Batman just leaves the burglar. You, you know, at least he didn't kill him. I'm I'm sure someone was probably he standing there the whole time Snyder was in charge with like a knife and a gun if he tried to make Batman kill anyone. But yeah, so. This burglar becomes philosophical and goes, oh, says something along the lines of, what, what hope do we have? And it's like, and Batman just leaves him. Batman just leaves him to get away. It's like, okay, bravo for not killing him outright. Um, but you still let him get away, dumbass. So it's like, progress! Yeah, progress. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Okay, I already talked about the opening. Yeah, the song sucked. Uh, okay, so then we get to Cyborg. Um, can I ask an honest question? Why has this character recently been so popular? Like, I, I mean... I have nothing against the character. Seriously. He's an interesting enough character. On his, on his own, he's an interesting enough character. Also, the Teen Titans, not the Teen Titans go, because that's complete and utter garbage from the right, from just, just looking at it. The art style just makes me want to stab my, my lobe out so I can just go through life oblivious. But... Of course, I could go through a lot of shows on like that nowadays, especially in Western animation. But moving on, why why is um, Cyborg like so popular that he's now like one of the major got people? Like he's up. I get the feeling like they want him to be uh, Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman level. Because he's also there with Flash and Aquaman. It's like, I, I just don't get it. I mean, I didn't know even know who Flash was until... I mean, not Flash. Um, Cyborg was until the um, original Teen Titans TV show. So, no. I don't know. Anyway, he has some bonding with his dad, which basically is him being pissed off because his father, him and his mom were in a, some kind of an accident. His mom died, but he, his father freaking re basically million dollar manned cyborg. Stronger, faster, smarter, you know, all that jazz. Um, which, honestly, he kind of, eh, re resents, especially when the energy source, which turns out to be a mother box, Spoiler! Ah, oh, screw it. Most of you already saw it. Um, is the whole it, the mother box reshapes everything? Therefore, the energy used from the mother box is now reshaping Victor. <laughs> yep. Okay. And after that, we're introduced to the... We go back to the Amazons. I'm going to have to watch Wonder Woman 
which after this movie I am actually looking forward to it because if I'm being going to be fair, I really liked the I, I felt her Aquaman. I, I felt like the heroes actually in one it's one of those few times I can actually say the heroes or at least some of them like kept my interest. Like I can't say that in too many of these um, comic book movies. Like re like my recent one with um Spider Man Homecoming. I was more interested in Vulture than I was in Spider Man because he was just a freaking dumb kid. You know, you got Peter Parker. Then I, but of course, then I learned that, um, ha uh, ha split licensing shenanigans. So, ha uh, ha, 25% different Spider Man. Fuck you. Anyway, getting to Steppenwolf. He looks like freaking Freddy Krueger. And and then he's got this fuck his headpiece. Oh, what the fuck is I can't it bothered me. It really bothered me that headpiece of his. I couldn't figure out where I saw something like that before. Maybe if, if you have played Dragon Age Inquisition, maybe you know Vivian. But I, it's not exactly that. I, if I could... Oh, there's something... To, it's nagging me. It's really nagging me. Anyway, so we get that. He looks like freaking Freddy Krueger. Or stretched out. Freaking with his helmet. His stupid, doopy helmet on. And he's flying around with the paratroopers who are basically bug... Uh, miniature Thanos things. That feed on fear. Jesus Christ. Wow, that does... It's like, and he announces, they feed on fear. Who can't wait to see how that ends. Foreshadowing! So, he goes to the Amazons because that's the first box he finds. Because... And attacks... The Amazons fight, he kills most of the Amazons, the Amazons try to take the, um, uh, this is not the Amazons fault here. I'm going to say this, the Amazons tried to run away with the cube, and this is stupid on several levels, none of which are their fault. Um, I'm not going to blame them for anything. They're trying to keep it out of his hands. They're doing the best they can. But, number one, he's literally got an entire hive of these fear hunting pieces of shit. Which are some of the most ineffectual minions I've ever seen in my life. Number two, he's got a ship that can apparently tra teleport him wherever he wants. Number three, he's kind of in Shao Kahn in this. Or at least I think that's where they were trying to get with him. From, oh, I'm a conqueror. Blah, 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 blah. Look at me and my mighty big-ass axe. It's totally not trying to make a man ends for something else. Small dick. Uh, so the Amazons are on an island that they can't leave. Except, unless you're Wonder Woman, but I think it's got something to do with her being having God, God blood in her. Um, he's got a ship that can teleport him anywhere. He, okay, four things now. He's got a hive of fear hunting monsters that don't do shit. He's freaking Shao Kahn. They're, they, they're trying to portray him as Shao Kahn in this. And it just doesn't work. Actually... No, it doesn't work. It, he just... From being... I'll, I'll get into Steppenwolf later when the final battle, because I, this, that final battle, I mean, it was cool, but it really did not do the bit Ellen any favors. 